were able to fabricate uh, organic light emitting diodes based on a pressure assisted technique to reduce the amount of power that these devices will consume. So we want to make energy stored in batteries and supercapacitors in form of electricity. We're looking at if you can charge your battery in a few minutes and then it can also deliver as much power as you need. I produced a, a block, this is a magnesium oxide based block from very abundant material, dolomites or magnesite. And I used rice sauce cash, which is an agricultural waste, to synthesize and produce my head bricks. Kwame is a concept that came out of um, a desire by groups of scientists, uh, mainly African scientists, who are both here in Africa and in the diaspora, to provide an opportunity to build capacity for Africa to have people trained in certain areas of science and engineering with the primary idea of uh, focusing on problems of an African nature. And so this group of people got together to look at how to solve these problems. And uh, it is that getting together that, that gave rise to the proposal to have a Pan-African group that we use the science of materials to solve infrastructure problems. And uh, PAMI was born. In Africa, you know, we have a lot of energy challenges. We are wasting a lot of energy for lighting and display applications. With these kind of systems that we were able to develop through this research, we can have a significant amount of energy saved to be used for other applications. The model we use here is to use uh, the best brains you can find, mostly Africans in the diaspora, bring them in into AUST and they transfer the knowledge they have in these areas. So we focus on three major areas, materials for health care, materials for energy, and then materials for other infrastructure. That area we call multifunctional materials. PAMI Energy Program focuses around the energy challenges that we have in Nigeria. So one approach that PAMI takes to that is towards the energy harvesting, energy generation, and we also focus on energy storage. In my research, I worked on supercapacitors. So supercapacitors, they are like batteries, but they are more beneficial than batteries, except for the fact that they have issues with their energy storage capabilities, where batteries have gone ahead of them. So the research work in supercapacitor is mainly to see how we can improve the energy storage capabilities. We have this bioengineering technology that's been developed by some of our researchers, targeting things like drug delivery for the treatment of cancer. Breast cancer being suffered in Nigeria here and Africa as a whole, dozens overexpress on the receptors which the white people out there use to develop the drugs. The kind of breast cancer that affects us mostly. It's called the triple negative breast cancer. The triple negative, when you talk of triple negative, it's very, very aggressive in the sense that it may just start in a breast. That's the problem. You just go check the characteristics. Yes, it's a cancer. In the next two weeks, oh, I've gotten the drug that will cure it. It will change the characteristics again. So it's not stable. So that is really the main problem of triple negative, and it cures. If we can be able to get a receptor for a hormone which can be overexpressed on the tissue we have in the country, or the cancer we have in the country here, then that will be a breakthrough, and that is the breakthrough which we have gotten. So the next step now is the drug. And one of our major outcomes is that we have found a drug that kills very effectively the kind of breast cancer that affects us most here. This program tries to uh, work in the area of uh, developing technologies for improving on mining and minerals processing. So we focus on barites and gold. Uh, these are two major areas, barites to address the oil industry, gold to address what is happening in places like Zamfara, looking at the issue of safe mining. We need to refine our crude oil. And one of the things which we need to do so is a drilling mode for us to retap this crude oil from the, from the whole source. And for us to do this, we need a waiting agent, of which barite today has been taken as a better substitute to those ones which have been used earlier for now. So we feel it's actually adding values to those things. 
will help us stop the importation of barite into the country. So it is this PAMI project that has enabled us to get to a level where Total is now talking to us and we are now working with them. We are also receiving additional support from them. And their interest is to make sure that in the near future, the oil industry in Nigeria can source berries from Nigeria. We are quite uh, happy you know, with the level of uh, achievement of most of our students and the kinds of interactions that they bring to bear you know, on the university itself.